Oh! Oh! <laughs> and the fact that I'm using both of them, like, equally, it's great. It's like, oh, okay, so I... Mm. Hi, welcome. Welcome back. All right. New things in that I've got in. Uh, why did that rhyme? Anyway, point is, this is a video on some of the pieces that I've just got for over the past few weeks. Some are high-end, some are low, and it's a good mishmash of both. Shoes, bags, bit of everything. Right, so I'm gonna get stuck right in. Next week will be what everyone is wearing in New York, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you do not miss that episode, all right? I'm gonna get started. They're right here, because they literally just arrived. Two pieces from Tanika's collection from Amazon The Drop. I already have this in orange, and I picked it up in, oh, wow. Oh, it's gorgeous in the yellow. So I picked it up in the yellow and I picked it up in like a sky blue, but I already have the orange in it as well. So it's so nice. And this is the sky blue version. I really love these. Look how full the sleeves are. Tanika, you nailed it. I like that they can be worn off the shoulder, which is how my favorite way to wear it, but you can also do like a square neckline and put it on the shoulder. And the sleeves are really full and this part is like stretchy a little bit. It's perfect. These are so good. I could even wear it like with my cargoes. By the way, these cargoes are from my own clothing line with Amazon The Drop, my drop number two. I did this in the first drop and the second drop, this color. Anyway, so those are the first two things that I got in. Next one is what I'm wearing, which is this particular um, bodysuit. I got this from Zara. I love it. It's the color, the neckline. I love the cutouts of it here on the sides. I just think it's so pretty. And the back, it's just completely open. You see? just an open neckline. I just think it's adorable and I love it just to wear it just like this or I can wear it with like a skirt or just with a pair of jeans, ripped up jeans. So I love them. Can I say love enough? Love it enough. And I really picked up these things because it's just updates for my wardrobe. You lot know I did the purge last week. If you've not seen that purge video, I'm going to link it below. I've got over 500 comments on that video from you lot really chiming in and giving your thoughts on what I got rid of. I was very ruthless and I will preface this video by saying, even though you're seeing some new things in this video, there's a lot of things that I got rid of in last week's video and there's a lot more that's still gonna go because I did not go through my jackets. I did not go through my jumpers, which are here and over here, you can't see them. I didn't go through my gen denim jeans. I didn't go through my sunglasses. I didn't go through some of some more of my coats. So I'm actually gonna do more purges. That was just phase one, but there's more things that's gonna be coming out. Some of the tops behind me, just a few things that I just don't wear anymore and they don't feel like me anymore. My style has changed. So I'm holding on to them just to hold on to them. I'd rather pass them on to someone who actually will wear them. Just continue that kind of like recycling of fashion, right? So what is one man's trash, another man's treasure. And I think that's really important. Continuing on. A lot of these things in this video are from Zara. I've not shopped in Zara for a very long time. And, but when I do, I tend to find pieces that feel really like me and so I can hold on to them. I got this gorgeous, like a chambray actually, much lighter than denim. I like that it buttons all the way up. And the main thing is it's long sleeved, but it's cropped. And I like that it kind of like dips down in the middle like that. It looks so, it looks so good on. So I got that and I really like it. So I got this in a size large, by the way. So it does, in my opinion, run small. I also got these linen wide leg pants. You've seen me on Instagram wearing these and on my TikTok. I'll show you here on the side. I love these. They are nice deep pockets, wide leg, linen mix. They're exactly what I was looking for, which is a summer linen white wide leg trouser. I wouldn't mind finding one in black as well, probably, because I think those are two really neutral colors. I got this in an extra large. It's actually too big for me. I wanted it to fit oversized, but it's too oversized. But it's okay, I'm gonna make it work. I usually just do my pin trick. If you've not seen it, I'll show you here. I show hacks on my TikToks. It's just an easy way just to make it a little bit smaller on the waistband. Same with this one from Zara. This olive green, again, way too big for me. And if, even though I wanted it to be bigger than me, I went too big. I should have gone one size up versus two sizes up. I really love these. I just love the outside pockets of it. It is a wide leg at the bottom. It's got flat pockets in the bum. And again, I just do that trick to make it a little bit tighter so it sits like up here. It looks so good with this orange, doesn't it? This is a combination I have to wear. Okay, and then from Under the Stories, I got this ruched chocolate brown 
top, it's super stretchy and I love that wavy line that goes down the front. It's really nice. It's very, very, very stretchy. So if you was to get it, definitely get it in a smaller size because that's that weight fits nice and tight. It even looks good with my cargos and with this cream blazer, right? God, I love how that looks. It looks so good. Anyway, so yeah, so I got this as well. Really like it. And I got it after I got same one but i got it in this lime kind of bright neon -y kind of color it's it's really nice i love it i've already worn this before again i think i've worn it on my tiktok i'm not sure anyway so this i love how bright it is and again it's gonna look it looks good with what i'm wearing it's like a nice way to just add a punch to like neutrals so it's perfect so it's a lot of like tops top heavy but i needed i really needed some new tops so, especially when I'm doing like YouTube videos and stuff, where it's like showing shown from like here upwards. Anyway, what's the next thing? Another top, I got this um, corset top again from Zara. This is a brown one. I like it for the same reasons. I can wear it again. It actually, everything I feel like I'm showing you, almost everything is working with what I've already got on. Can you imagine that with this? It would look so good. This with my, with my cargos, like tomboy down here and just kind of like cool, sexy, like kind of feminine up top with this. Oh, this is so good. So again, from Zara, I like it. It's like a modern day corset and I love it. Moving on to, I've already worn this. I wore this when I was in Mexico and I cannot wait to wear this throughout summer here and also going away as well. I found this fantastic on Zara and I think it's still available. I'll put all my links below for everything in this video. Stunning ruffled green dress. Look how long it is look at that diagonal ruffle at the bottom which goes all the way around and the same with this it's got a ruffle it's a v-neck front and v at the back with a ruffle trimming it's just so pretty and it has like really delicate ties here with a little bow just to tie it and this also comes off the shoulder i'll show you on the other side it's beautiful it's so nice i really love i love this dress i feel like it looks so much more expensive than what it is and it doesn't look like it comes from zara in my opinion the color is outstanding it looks even better than it's showing on camera almost like bordering on neon but it's not it's beautiful and this is how it looks on one side only so your shoulder is in there you imagine your arm coming out the bottom beautiful really really good right another piece that i got again from zara this is over a span of weeks I got this pair of trousers. They are a linen or a linen mixed trouser. This time I got it in a pink color. You know what? I actually would wear this orange with this. That's what I like about everything I've picked. They all kind of go with each other because I'm picking colors that suit my skin tone. So they tend to like all go with each other and I'm, I'm loving that. God, I love that. Oh, that's... Okay, I gotta shoot this. I need to shoot these two together. So I actually already have this trouser in a dark navy. I'll show you here. I think I've showed it on my Instagram or my TikTok. Love it. A lot of you loved it and bought it. It's so good that I found it in a different fabric, which is this linen. And it's got the same kind of pleating here at the front, flat fronted. It does not have pockets. Oh boy. Got to take a little star off for that. But outside of that, gorgeous, wide-legged, easy, linen-y. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? That looks so good. All right, so there's that as well. Moving on to bags. And I am saying plural because there's three of them. Two of them are from Balenciaga. And you're going to crucify me. I know. I already know in the comments you're going to crucify me, but sod it. I don't care. I got the same bag in two colors and in two different sizes and I've been wearing them both, which to me really is a testimony to if you truly made the mistake or not. It's the fact that I'm literally wearing both of them. So I got this one first. If you follow me on TikTok, you already know about this because I did an unboxing. I show everything first, by the way, there. I've been making a habit of it because I post on TikTok like once or twice a day, every single day. And so when some, I get something that delivers, I just post it on my TikTok. So if you want to see what comes in first before it appears maybe on Instagram or even eventually on YouTube, you will see it there first. So I picked this up and it is the Balenciaga La Cagole bag. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I know I'm probably getting it wrong. Um, I got it in the size, this is a size small. It's a perfect homage to the original Balenciaga city bag, which is what these are. Remember Kate Moss when she used to wear the, the, the Balenciaga first, it was called? Who remembers that? 
Anyway, I have still my Balenciaga. Here's my original 2005 Balenciaga City bag. I love this bag. It's not going anywhere. It's stunning. I love how slouchy, slouchy the leather has become now. The tassels have ripped, um, as you can see from the front pocket there. It is just being so well loved. And if you look at the whip stitching on the handles, you'll notice that the new version has continued with that. Now, the reason I've stopped wearing it, but I will always keep it, and I still every time, now, every now and again have busted it out, is because when it's on my shoulder, I don't really like how it does this. See how the rectangle shape of it kind of goes up on the sides? I don't like that. I just prefer to just kind of hold it like this sometimes. Anyway, so that is the original, and this is what they came up with as an update. It's more like a shoulder bag, basically. They've turned this into that crescent shape, um, and I love what they did with the straps because this has a top handle plus it has the longer strap and what they did was they just made that into just one strap if that makes any sense. So they kept the whip stitching of the original and also the placement of the hardware is kind of the same. They also kept having the detachable mirror which the original one has but they turned into a heart instead of a rectangle which is what the original one has. This I believe is an update having this outside detachable little I would say like card holder here. You can put your ear pods in it as well. I love this bag. I like that it's also got distressed um, leather to it there. So you can see, and I love that it's white because it's still a very much a rock chick bag. It still feels edgy. It feels very New York, but at the same time, it's in white, which makes it feel soft and it feels so good for the summer. And I love whites. I love white bags. You, you lot know I like white bags. I actually sold my stowed moon bag to one of you lot are gonna be getting it very soon. And the reason why I did that was because I wasn't wearing it as much anymore. And I wanted something that was a bit more practical. And that one just didn't hold as much as what this white bag does. This holds way more than the stowed moon bag. Plus I like the versatility of this one versus the stowed moon bag. This one I can actually wear like this on my shoulder love and it feels very me this bag because it's the balenciaga city bag in my opinion it's just they just changed just altered it but it's the same vibe bag and i also like the fact that they've got these really like a whole lot of like holes here like this rivet and it allows you to change this buckle and put it all the way to the bottom so you can have it not just high up you can have it like much lower like so it'll sit here sit here crossbody although I don't like this size worn crossbody but you can do it absolutely stunning I, I I love it I love it and I've been wearing I love it. it's got a front pocket and a back pocket the original doesn't have a back pocket so this is handy just to put like your phone in metro card whatever really easy great and then I can see the hate coming because I got another one of it like I said but I got it in the extra small, and this is the one that I tend to wear more crossbody, although I have also worn it like for dinner, like evenings out, like just short under the shoulders as well. This is so good, so good. Now this one is, obviously it's black, just like my original black, but 10 times smaller, and I love the embossed leather to it, and it's antique gold hardware. Look at how similar the hardware is to the original, right? This one is from 2005, and this is the new one that they've come out with. Great, right? I think it's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, so there you go, a side-by-side -side comparison of the OG original and then what they came up with. I will always love the original, and I'm sure the same with you. I mean, the original is the original. It's not gonna be beat, in my opinion. But I like being able to wear these because of this, the versatility that these allow me to have. I like that this is, it keeps that shape, this kind of rounded shape. And again, I can wear it, I'm not gonna wear it with this, but I could wear it if I wanted, a crossbody, or I can wear it on like its, sh its shortest strap and just wear it the shortest way, like just under my arm, like very 90s. So I really, really like that about it. It's, this makes it, the versatility of it is absolutely spot on. Like I said, it feels like a very city New York bag, that kind of edginess of it flat to the body, you can wear it like a messenger, sling it over your back. It's gonna be great to wear over coats as well as obviously what I'm wearing right now. I loved the edge and the embossed leather of this black one with that antique gold hardware. I was sold, absolutely sold. It was just too good. I love it. And this doesn't have to stay out the mirror. You can put it inside and it's completely removable. Oh, oh. And the fact that I'm using both of them, like, equally, it's great. It's like, oh, okay, so I 
mm, I did the right thing. This, I think I did the right thing. Another bag I want to show you, which is right behind me, up here. This bag I picked up from Amazon and it is so good. Basically a, a really good, like easy, fuss-free, summer structured bag. I love that canvas look with the leather looking tan trim. Gold hardware, which looks perfect with the tan. Structured and it looks, and it's so well made for the price of it from Amazon. Again, I'll link it for you in the description box, but I think it's great, no? Look at that. It's so well made and it's just easy open, easy access. It's got two compartments there and I think it's got a front pocket. You can see right there on the inside. Easy open, easy close. If you're an OG subscriber on my YouTube, you will recognize this style bag, but in all brown leather, faux leather, with a croc finish. How luxe is that? And it was from my street style episode of what everyone is wearing in New York. Honestly, it's about a good two and a half years ago, that episode, so it's gonna be one of the earlier ones. I stopped someone on the street wearing this bag in that, that all brown crop version. Stunning! And a whole bunch of you bought it because you were like messaging me saying you did. My assistant bought it, I got it. It was just such a, a jaw-dropping bag because it looked so expensive on her. And it wasn't. And this is that same bag. It's just such a great, it's such a good bag. It's really, really good. Great. It's such a, it's a, it just sells itself. Just like it did last time. I think it, I wouldn't wear it with this. It kind of looks weird with my blazer. I love it. I've already worn it. Again, I can show you here. I think I was wearing like a shirt at the time. I just flung it over my shoulder. So good. It's so good. All right, so there is that. All right, so what else do I want to show you? Oh, sandals, they're right here, hold on. I picked up these chunky Dries Van Noten vibe sandals. They also remind me of like Jill Sander. I was in Bergdorf Goodman recently. I'll be doing a vlog on that. And I saw very chunky sandals. They're doing a lot of tubular, what I call fat sandals. But these are the vibe of something that I've seen before. That rope sandal, that's basically what this is, but it's super, like I said, chunky. The rope on it is, is thick and oversized, and I love that footbed of it, so your foot actually goes inside this part of it. So I really like that. It reminds me almost like a dad sandal, but in rope, and it is men's from Zara, and that is where I found these, and I think they're great. So good. I'll put the sizing for you on the screen so you can see what I got, but they're great. And they also come in beige as well. So you are very welcome. And they look really good on your foot. Yes, they do. Oh, so good. Anyway, tag me on Instagram if you get these because I think they're so good. Sticking with dad sandals, I'm going to show you at the other end of the price spectrum. I picked up the Hermes Chipre sandals. I think that's how you pronounce it. These. I, I love these. The color of these is just absolutely perfect. And the reason why I'm gushing over the color is because these are so difficult to get. The shops don't have them. I went into New York stores. They did not have them. Everyone says they fly in and out. So they're hardly in stock. They just don't have them. You can check online, they pop up, then they fly out. As soon as they appear, they disappear. They sell out instantly. I happen to be on the Emma's website and I could not believe, I honestly thought it was a mistake when I saw I had to refresh the page and they were still showing. These were on the website, I could not believe it. I checked out so fast, it's not even funny. And I got them from the men's section. So these are men's sandals. This is the back of them, they are rubber. And I like that because it makes them very quiet and grippy when you're walking around. Again, like the Zara ones, I like that footbed. So your foot is like sitting inside that and it has that same kind of chunky vibe that I love to wear with like floaty dresses and skirts. I could even wear it with this outfit. This is why I'm so chuffed I got this color because these come in honestly, I think about 10 to 15 different colors, including like this strap is a different color to this part, just a ton of different ones. So I was literally gonna be like, if I get these in my size, I'll just wear whatever color it is. And it just so happened that this was the only color that was on the website and it's exactly the color that I would have wanted. So this could not be more luck than that because it is the perfect neutral, more so than black. I prefer, especially in the summer, I like the idea of something that contrasts on my color skin and this 
does perfectly and look how well it goes even with what I'm wearing. It's ridiculous. I've shown the unboxing. These were first shown on my TikTok. I unboxed them there as soon as they delivered. Uh, can't get over them. Michael wants a pair. I said to him, if they don't fit me, if they're too like too small or something, you can have them because his feet are slightly smaller than mine. And they did not fit him. They were too big. So I put them on, they fit me like a glove. So I'm on the lookout to get him a pair in a neutral color as well. But I mind blow. And one of the last things I'm going to show you are these shorts. I picked them up from Amazon. They are 100% linen and I love them. I have been living in these. They sit high, they have very deep pockets and they, the length of them is just right. It's not like butt cheek out or anything. It is not butty riders. It's just the perfect length and I wear them all the time, all the time. I have to stop myself. I wear them when I'm at home. I fling them on. I just wear them with like a shirt, open men's shirt, like with a, just like a crop top. I keep wearing these shorts and I love them so, so much. I got them also in the other two colors. After I got these and I saw how much I was wearing them, I also picked them up in the other two colors that they come in. But I got them also in like a tan color, which is like a shade darker than the jacket I'm wearing. And I also got them in a red as well because those were the two other colors they had. And I was like, I need that because I am wearing this too, too much. Um, I haven't been wearing like denim shorts or any other type of short, come to think about it. But this, this is what I've been wearing. It's these. And they're so easy to like roll up into nothing if you're going away on holiday or just going away or just, just, just packing them away in your flipping drawers. You know what I mean? They're so, they roll up, they fold up to nothing. They're actually slightly see-through, but semi. And it, like I said, it's 100% linen, great, great quality. When you get them, you'll see exactly what I mean. I'm, sh I'm shocked. Yeah, I got a size medium in these, by the way. Great, super stretchy. Just get them and thank me later. Imagine this with like a black bralette. Just, oh. mm. these are good. I think that is everything. I think that's everything. I did thrift a men's suit. <laughs> I found another one. Anyway, so, I got uh, another men's suit. I thrifted it. I showed it on my TikTok already. It's a vintage suit from men's. You know how much I love men's suits. I'm wearing them all the time. This is men's jacket. I think nearly every single blazer I own almost is from the men's department, as you lot already know. But that is it. Yeah, that is it. I will see you next week, Friday. Well, actually, you'll hear my voice next week, Friday, for what everyone is wearing in New York. Do not forget, if you want to see what's going on every single day, I'm on TikTok, Instagram as well. I will see you for the next video. All the links are below. All right.